guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Christine of Side Street Market and today we are at Jeff's Antique Mall. This is one of my favorite antique malls to go to. Um, it is closing and going to be under new management, so the store is 50% off when I am doing this video. So I did go back to see what new goodies I could find for 50% off and I stocked up my trunk. I had so much fun shopping here. So I'm just gonna take you along as I hunt for treasures that we can resell for a profit. I was really excited to find these uh, Christmas candlesticks still there. I just thought the packaging was really great and would be fun for the holidays. One, the box was in good condition. The other one, the box not such great condition. It was missing the top, but I still picked them both up. And those will probably end up in a Christmas in July sale. This is one of what I call the pretty booths where it has a lot of the girly stuff. So I kind of checked it out and then I dropped my stuff off at the counter and went back to the front door for the smalls. This guy I like and I've been keeping an eye on, but it's about $16 and even on sale for $8, I still think there's just not enough room for resale because I probably would be selling that for eight to 10. These were pretty. They were like little cast iron wall pieces. I was just trying to find some unique items. I did pick up a bunch of Joseph Original Girls. So that was exciting. I think I have uh, March, August, July, and one other month, and those will be in my Etsy shop. Then I was just looking for more smalls. This cabinet always fascinates me when I go in there, even though the glass is a little tricky, but I found some cute, like, dogs and stuff in there. And it was a little bit busy, so I was trying to make sure I, I didn't necessarily catch anyone. And there was lots of beautiful dishware, but I'm kind of maxed out on dishware right now, so I was looking for some more smalls. These candle holders, I think, are gorgeous, and I love them. Um, not bad at half off of 75 but I think it was each of them. That one was, you know, a different style for 10 but I, didn't, I don't have a spot for them. They were kind of heavy, and to pack them, like if I had had a booth, in a, if I still had a vintage booth, then I'd get them from my booth, but since I don't, I had to leave them this time. This picture I thought was interesting, but I think it was 25 and 50% off. So even at that price, I just wasn't sure. I know I've seen some of the other resellers pick these up. Okay, it would have been $10. I just didn't know enough about it. So if you guys think I should have got it, let me know because they are open till February and I'm through February 2021 and I may go back one more time. I just always enjoy this mall because there's so such a great variety that I learn each time I go in there. There are lots of cute figurines. Those are those Toby jugs. And then I found the piano babies. And I did end up grabbing the three small piano babies. That dog was beautiful, but I think it was 94. And this guy, I've, I'm keeping my eye on. Even at $14, I just don't didn't see enough room for resale on that one. But these little guys, these little guys were cute. So I did end up grabbing all of those. Because I know you guys like your little cherub babies and little cutesies. Now you guys may see me go up to the counter a few times because they don't have baskets in here, which is fine because with COVID and everything, you don't want to necessarily be picking up baskets other people were touching, but it was nice that the, um, the owner's mom was helping out. And so every now and then she'd come up to me and grab whatever I had in my hands. So that was fun. There she is looking at the items. She was very nice. You could see there, um, I think my footage got swapped or I may have missed it, but I did get some dogs. And then there's this beautiful glass cabinet, and I always admire this cabinet. I know I say I admire everything when I go in there, but they just have great items. And I can't remember if I got anything. I did get something out of here. I did end up picking up that little lamb. It is actually a, a gobel 
clear global lamb paperweight and I did end up picking up that for Easter and it'll it may already be in my Etsy shop when you watch this video. I was just kind of looking it over. <clears throat> and then there was the beautiful, I think there was a lady head in there. Maybe not. I'm trying to remember, this was a little while ago. Oh yes, the lady figurine. She was lovely, but I think she was like $75. So unfortunately she was out of my range for reselling, but she was still a beautiful piece. I don't know if I show it. I was trying not to get the, the mom in the, the photo to be polite. Oh, she held it for me. Yes, that was a lovely, she was pretty. So I'm happy that the mall isn't completely closing, um, that there are new people taking over and they will be reopening it in March at some time because I do like these antique malls. I like that they, I, I like to try to support them to help keep them open. And I like doing these shop with me videos. So if you come to Florida, you know, I'm a Florida reseller. You can go through my videos and find some antique malls that you can shop at. And then there was more glassware. There's just so much glassware I'm still learning. I'm sure I could have got some deals. I did pick up a couple of pieces, but I just, you know, I just wasn't sure. But there was lots of lovely pieces. And then I spotted this guy, if my camera will focus. Focus? Nope, it didn't. <laughs> I did end up picking up that teal elephant. It is hollow on the inside, and it is a decorative piece. Then I found this Rusty Crusty Goodness Mickey Thermos. I did grab that. And it was dusty. Just the way we like it, right? Then I wasn't sure about these placemats because they didn't have a price. They did find a price for me, but I decided not to grab those because they were all kind of the same. And I didn't know if they were like someone had laminated them at home and what the value resale value would be for that. So I did leave those behind this time. Then I found this, and this is a vintage baby food warmer, which I know is weird to pick up, but look at that cute rabbit. I thought this would be fantastic for Easter decor. Now, the only thing is it does have to be shipped ground because it does have some sort of a liquid in it for if you were to plug it in. And I wouldn't recommend plugging it in, but I think it would make a cute decor piece. So that is going to be in my Etsy shop in time for Easter. Now I'm just double checking the cabinets to see if I miss anything. And we're only in like the first 20% of this store, people. <clears throat> then I found this cute Mickey piece. That was the mom was helping me get a price on the, the placemats. I did pick that up. And that is actually going to be a gift for a friend who will have it before this video airs, so I can go ahead and release it. I was trying to look at the kids' toys because I don't normally dabble on toys, but with 50% off, you know, I thought it'd be fun to at least check out the toy section. Holly has decided to join me while I am doing the voiceover, so you may hear her. There were a lot of beautiful display cabinets on sale. Now the cabinets were not included in the 50% off, but it was still a good deal. So this was a great time if you had a booth to, um, pick up some items for it. So I contemplated this dog. And the funny part is if, uh, you guys have probably already watched the haul video from last weekend, but I had actually gotten one of these dogs in an antique mall the weekend before. So I was telling myself, I do not need two dog cookie jars at this point. Cause this one was only, I think 25 and 50% off. But then I noticed, and it is a McCoy, it's a McCoy dog cookie jar. But I noticed, and I may show it, that um, it had a 
chunk that had been taken out of its nose and repaired. Now, I went back and forth on this piece, guys. But I'll let you... Let's see. I wasn't sure, but I'll let you guys wait till the haul to see whether or not I picked up that one. We'll leave that one as a little teaser. I have a thing for cookie jars right now. I don't know why it is. They're bulky and hard to ship, but I just, I'm liking the cookie jars. We have some more beautiful. These ladies, I wasn't sure about. They're, I think they're uh, Florence pieces. They're beautiful decorative pieces, but I think, yeah, they were like 30 and 25, so they would have been 50% off, but I just wasn't it's got to speak to me. And that's that's an important thing when you're buying stuff because you, when you go to resell it, you want to enjoy doing it and you want to um, be excited about what you're selling. So if it doesn't super speak to you, that's why I didn't pick up some of the items. I was trying to see the cat, but I couldn't get the door open and then there was a note about asking and I was like, Never mind. I think it was priced at like 30 or something, so I let it go this time. But it was a cute cat. I'm always seeing those little uh, priest Toby mugs everywhere. I was still debating on the cat. <laughs> and now I'm on the hunt for dogs for everyone. But the ones in this, in this case were about $30 and up. So for reselling to you guys, there just wasn't enough room, but for an end person, there were some great deals to be had. If you were a collector going there for yourself, they had some great pricing on those. But that doesn't mean I didn't find a couple of little dog figurines for you guys. Now I'm back in the corner. I really loved that little wood shelf. I'm checking to see if I missed anything. Retracing my footsteps. There were some music boxes, but again, I wasn't sure if I wanted to get into the music box business. I'm still debating. There was a little Joseph original music box back there. Now I'm checking out the teak and the glassware. There was so much beautiful glassware. And like I said, I did pick up a few pieces. I thought that was pretty. I like the hobnail. I was trying to see if there was any maker's marks, you know, trying to learn as I go. <clears throat> I did grab this green compote and that'll be in one of my, excuse me. So I did grab that green compote and that'll be in one of my probably my February live sale with Lori Blue Flamingo Mercantile and that is going to be February 9th I'll have some St. Patrick's Day themed items and I did grab this little I'm guessing it's a glass ashtray it's a little foggy on the bottom it has a little wear but I figured it was a good starting place for me to learn it was in a price point I was comfortable with purchasing that one was pretty but it was I think it would have been $15, so I just wasn't sure. I may, when I go back in February, if I get a chance to go back, grab some more glassware if it's at um, more than 50% off now, if there's anything left. And so this is going to be part one of two. I will have um, a second part of this video because we are only still in the first half corner of this store. I was contemplating that bell. I thought it was pretty, but I wasn't sure about it. And I know amber is better in the fall, so I did not grab that this time. And as you can see, I was checking out the glass. I was trying to find some pieces to learn from. I was looking at all the littles. I probably should have got that one, and I may have meant to have gotten it. And I probably put it down and then just forgot. Because that was that would have only been two dollars and fifty cents. This was kind of a, I thought it was a cookie jar. It was an owl, but it turns out it was a um, 
just a figurine and it was kind of heavy so I was afraid to try to lift it over all the glassware. Oh, I didn't notice that opalescent dish in the back there. I missed that one. I look at this one every time I come in. I have three Madonnas I need to list. I think it's 25. So I didn't pick it up this time because I need to get my other ones listed first. I thought of Dear Neat in New Zealand when I saw this piece here. I was checking it out. It was $28, so it would have been 14 See, I remembered to grab the burgundy bowl, but not the other one. <laughs> and before they'd had some bluebirds of paradise, see, there they are. They had had a whole row of them, and I was thinking of getting them this time, but they were already gone. And that one was just a little out of my price range. It was 23 and I wasn't sure because it had a plaque on it. That was kind of a neat piece, like a cute little ceramic piece. Pottery. Little blue bears. This pattern I've seen a lot. Um, I think I have a few items in my booth. When I looked up comps on it while I was there, because I wasn't sure about it, because I had seen the pattern before, it was priced pretty much at retail. There wasn't much room for reselling. Which, like I said, they had a lot of great deals. And now I'm thinking of my friend... Diana from Little Vintage Me 64 because of the chalkware heads that were on the wall just above there. She does like those. This was priced at 50 and I contemplated it, but comps online were 20 to 30 selling, so it would have been $25. So this one I did not pick up, but I did grab another one that was priced a bit lower, I think because it was monogrammed. I was checking out the flower frogs to see if there was anything cool left for you guys. But that black one was kind of neat. I liked the dog. It was like almost one of those door stops. That opalescent dish is pretty. See, I'm still debating back and forth. And then I think you'll see the screen will change because I stopped videoing to check comps. Because I just thought the Art Nouveau of the lady was beautiful but I just wasn't quite sure. This was a cute crystal owl paperweight. I did pick that up and that is available in my Etsy shop. And then I saw the blue slag people and I know how everyone loves the slag. So I did end up grabbing the blue slag trinket box with the pea stubs on it. And that will be available in my Etsy shop. And if you don't see it when you watch this video, I may not have gotten a chance to list it yet, so you can always just go ahead and email me at sidestreetmarketsales at gmail.com. And now this is the land of the dog figurines. And this is where I was really looking for you guys to try to find you some cute dogs for another storage unit dog themed sale. That was a piece of, um, I think it's called Blue Mountain Pottery. It's the, um, the green drip glaze. Some of the dog breeds I wasn't familiar with, so I didn't grab them. I think I grabbed this one. Yep. Going in my little pile. I don't know if I grabbed. Because some of the little dogs were like 15 to $18. So I was trying to find the ones that were where I could still have a little room for you guys. And now this planner I'd eyed, I'd been there a few times, I grabbed it. I said this was the day, this is the time I'm going to get it. And that will be available in my Etsy shop for Easter time. And we have about two or three minutes left in this video, so I just want to thank you all for hanging out and shopping with me. If you liked the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button. 
Almost every week I do some sort of a sale on Tuesday nights. Usually I will take one week off a month though, just for a little break. And I try to release four videos a week for you guys. Some shop with me, some hauls, sale previews. If I have any tips on reselling, I'll try to do some of those videos. I'm hoping to do some um, ship with me videos eventually. And so just don't forget to hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button. And now I'm checking out the glass. And this was a fancy cabinet and I was a little nervous about trying to get it open. And I'm pretty sure that Vaseline on the bottom glowed. And I loved those, I don't know if they're called Jack in the Pulpit, but that kind of horn blue with the gold that was in the previous case, those were beautiful. And then I spotted the pig and that was pretty cool. There are some cute little bone china pieces in here and just some game pieces. You can see like, I'm happy for them that they were selling a lot of their inventory before they, they close. So I was glad that the shelves had some bareness to them to see that they were doing well. This was a pretty piece, kind of mid-century to me. And now we're getting to the back right corner of the store. So we're only on the first half of the store and I totally missed the mushroom canisters. How did I completely miss those? <laughs> I'll have to see if those are there when I go back. I completely missed those. They were on the bottom shelf there when I panned. I'm always looking for trinket dishes, but this one was actually super light and it felt like kind of a, I, I don't know, like an embossed, a very light, like embossed tin metal that was just coated. Yep, totally missed the mushroom canisters. So that's it for this one, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. And I can't wait to share the rest of this shop with me in part two. I'll see you then.